All right, welcome back everyone to Natalie the Don. I'm your host Dominic. We have another match. It's going to be Kshatriya versus Raid on Thornford. And the mic is working, and you can see all the ways I set up because why aren't you going away? Well, this isn't ideal. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. There was a bit of an issue with the microphone. I forgot to turn it on. It wouldn't be. Dominic stream without the microphone being off at least once throughout the entire process, especially as it has been a little while. I must admit I am a bit rusty. Anyhow, back to the game. Raid, starting off with hovercrafts. Kshatra, starting out with hovercrafts. Kshatra, however, is starting out with a lot more metal extractors, while Raid, on the other hand, is starting out purely off reclaim. Which, given the Thornford and the fact that you have all these castle walls that give you, well, 500 metal reclaim, it's not a bad idea, all things considered. However, I don't totally know how well it's going to work out. Kshatriya has that solid economy, but of course they are more raidable. While Raid, on the other hand, completely in defiance of their name, has nothing to raid other than other than the quills, honestly. And actually, that could be pretty bad. Speaking of, we do have a dagger coming in along the fjord. And that dagger should be able to get... Actually, is that a fjord? Uh, it's not really a fjord. No, it's, it's a valley, but there's not like cliffs on the side. Anyhow, Dagger coming in through the river, and won't be able to do much damage. There's only one of them. Commander is actually not protecting this quill. The Dagger could theoretically get rid of it. I mean, that's a quill that's going over to, re to reclaim, forced to retreat. But now that Raid has their own daggers, it shouldn't be a problem. On the other hand, Kshatra is seeing that, well, Raids come in, raiding a bit, throwing a Dagger out. Or more scouting, really, because not a whole lot for Raid to raid. Well, Kshatriya, they aren't managing to be that successful. They did manage to, you know, put a bit of a fear of God in Raid, but they otherwise haven't really done much. The thing is, though, Raid is not reclaiming the southeast area as quickly as they would have been. But Kshatriya, on the other hand, they are a little behind economically, and they're turning that into a mace. And that has been spotted. I mean, Raid knows the mace is there, or they should know the mace is there. If they don't, they will very shortly. And, of course, three daggers coming in here will be an issue for a dagger, but not for the mace. That's the thing. Like, no, three daggers is one dagger. Definitely the three daggers win. Though it does take four daggers to one-shot a dagger. And as a general rule in dagger combat, you want to make sure that you have enough units to one-shot the opponent. Because otherwise, the daggers and they have high alpha. They have a long reload time. It's like two seconds, but for raiders, that is a very long time. So it's not very successful. It's not a good idea to just send in raiders... Sorry, send in daggers with too few numbers. Of course, with four daggers here, this opponent dagger is done, but Kshatra coming in with the mace will be facing off against scalpels, and scalpels do counter the mace, so there's not a whole lot of hope for Kshatra here. And while they have managed to get their economy ahead, thanks to this northern expansion, having put all that metal in the mace, it's not going to do all that much good. The mace, unfortunately, is going to be going down. That is a dead mace. That is a 100 metal, or 160 metal donation. Sure, Raid is quite happy with that. I mean, they've been playing entirely Reclaim thus far, and they just ran out of Reclaim of the Castle Walls. So, hey, why not? Reclaim this mace as well. At the same time, Raid, looking to Reclaim across the map, has the Northwest taken. The Southeast is also being Reclaimed, at least for the trees, for the energy. Which, admittedly, they kind of need. I mean, at the moment, their Reclaim is getting well ahead of their energy production, Especially as their commander... Okay, mostly because the commander is reclaiming this one mace. Thankfully, at this point, Raid is spending enough of everything else to actually not have to worry about that. But they will risk accessing quite shortly. Yeah, that is one thing. They have three metal or three power plants. They really could use finishing up that last one. I think that might be the problem for Raid right now. Kshatra, on the other hand, they are quite healthy when it comes to power. Nine solars. They have 26, or 26 energy coming in. And Kshatriya... Their metal is a little bit behind Raid, but honestly, it won't be a big deal. The problem for them is right now just going to be trying to find where Raid has set up. Because like I said, Raid has been going in and just reclaiming everything, which is a good idea long term. I mean, Kshatri is going to have far less to work with. And it has been reasonably useful for setting up their army. But the question is, what can they do with their army? And the scalps, the scalpels coming in here, scalpels against Commander should actually get it. And there's no defense units here at all. A couple of halberds are out of position to actually deal with defending the commander. And, what's that, four or five scal- No, 
Three daggers, three scalpels, and a... Oh, the commander has a lightning gun. Good move there, actually. It's a good idea. At the same time, the southeast has been taken. The mace getting rid of that little... Well, that reclaiming quill, which still got a lot of value off the reclaim. Man, that is the thing about how we're seeing Raid play right now. They are not letting themselves be open to too much damage. I mean, granted, losing that quill is a big deal. But they aren't trying to build solid infrastructure. That actually makes losing the quill a bigger deal, now that I think about it. That was actually pretty... Yeah, that was a... That was tough. And at the same time, Raid fighting the Halberd. Halberd, fortunately, opened itself up. It's completely destroyed. And at the same time, Chetcher's commander under heavy fire... Scalpels should be able to finish it off if it's not careful, and it's not careful. It's not going into the water or anything. Cheshire, what are you doing? You are... Okay, you're terraforming. Not a bad idea. A little bit late. Cheshire loses their commander, and with that, loses a lot of the power they had in this game. They are... They did lose their economic advantage. Lost a lot of storage. Thankfully for them, they hadn't been close to accessing, so it's not the biggest problem. But it's still a massive blow. It also means the Northwest is completely open to raid. We should be seeing another... Another quill get over there as soon as there's one available, really. At the same time, Kshatri is going for a counter raid, and they are well equipped. Raid's commander is... What was it using? It was using the particle beam, right? Yeah, light particle beam. So... Won't be too threatened by halberds, but, I don't know, two halberds and a mace? That will be a problem. It is a recon commander, so it could jump away. But the question is, is it going to actually be able to do enough? And at the same time, Raid coming with the defense forces just in time. So Raid will be fine, managing to get their maces in position. While at the same time, they are raiding over to the north. We see Scalpels just destroying all the metal extractors that Kshatra had so painstakingly built at the beginning of the game. Raid living up to their name while doing a great job defending themselves. And with that, they got another nice field to reclaim to work with, and we know that Raid is very fond of reclaim. Not to mention, they have 30 metal per second going into the factory, so they are well equipped to set up whatever they want. The only downside, of course, being these halberds are essentially coming in undefended, and no, a Lotus does not count as... Especially when the Stinger friendly fires it! Lotus does not count as defense! Stinger, however, does actually count as quite effective defense, except, you know, when it kills its own other defenses, but... Quite honestly, that, that Lotus is just a line of sight blocker, all things considered, so I think the Stinger was on the right track. That... Uh. It was, it wasn't, it normally, there's some hesitation to whether or not it actually goes in there, but yeah. Oh yeah, Astro, nice. Dead and buried commander. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Absolutely dead and buried. I mean, they dug their own grave very kindly, too. Although, that's not gonna make, that should make it no problem to reclaim. I mean, Raid right now, they have a three-fold metal advantage. They have basically all the territory. They've wiped out Kshatriya's army. And, oh, the Scalpels are still alive. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. The Scalpels are just, they're moseying along in their merry way. Halberds are coming to deal with them. Actually, the Halberds will be quite well equipped to deal with them. Halberds basically counter Scalpels just because the... Oh, well, they do if they don't start attacking early. And if they do start attacking early, it's a bit less effective as we see right now. Yeah, the, the halberds require that armor, and they lose that armor when they attack. Of course, that's still fine. The scalpels don't have enough fire rate to be able to deal with it, so Kshatra at the very least defending their main base from assault. However, that's the only thing they have left, and you know, but loads of daggers coming in the bottom of the map. You have... Are there, where are the maces? There were maces around here somewhere. Well, okay, the dagger's coming around the map. Kshatra doesn't even want to wait for that to come in. They have thrown in the towel, and Raid doing quite well for themselves with basically an entirely reclaim-based economy. Like, yeah, the only time we see metal used higher than metal produced. Although, both, in both cases, actually, they reclaimed quite a bit. I mean, they reclaimed, they didn't, they barely didn't excess. So, yes, metal used will be higher than metal produced. Metal produced is... To my knowledge, just from metal income. Or maybe not. Okay, I don't know how that works, honestly. I am seriously trying to figure this out, because this doesn't make sense. If metal used... I mean, if metal produced is just the metal income cumulatively, and metal reclaimed is considered separate... 
Oh, maybe it's just overdrive. Oh, man, this is really confusing. Because the, the difference doesn't map to either overdrive or reclaim. Looks like the reclaim was counted in metal produced. The overdrive might not have been, but the excess, certainly not there. Anyway, still a good sign that metal use is higher than metal produced, as far as their use of their economy, their macro. But anyway, that is that was that. So the next match is going to be between Dimefrain and Atostic, at the risk of being one that Dimefrain has already streamed, because Dimefrain does have their own stream, so they might have done this. But yeah, Dimefrain and Atostic, and it'll be on Alien Desert. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.